welcome back to the Sandra Show. Y'all, in this segment, we're throwing away the script and diving headfirst into the juiciest, most honest questions you can think of asked by our TSS tribe. From love and life to entrepreneurship, healing, nothing is off limits here. I'm joined by another one of our fave influencers, Miss Tiny Alika. Welcome, beautiful. Hi, thank you so much for having me, Sandra. It is truly an honor to be here right now. We're so delighted to have you, and you look fantastic. Thank you so much. You're oh my welcome. God, this dress, literally this poor lady, she had like nine or ten hours to make it, and I got it like three hours before my flight. I said, I, here's the material, I need this dress done. Oh I'm my going on goodness. the Sandra show, I need it now. Well, that poor lady did a fabulous job. She, I know you took she great care it. of her. Yeah, she, yes, for sure. yes, she did. All right, so let's dive into these questions. Lisa, so Tiny Lisa says, I've been celebrating my achievements, no matter how small they may seem. How can I cultivate a mindset of celebration and self-appreciation? Well, why don't you start like, having like a goal chart this is what I do mm -hmm. for every year since I turned 18 um, from 2021 2022 and 2023 I had like goals mm -hmm. that I written down on a piece of paper kept it on my phone as well every time I knocked it out I put a check mark on the list mm -hmm. and then I thought of things that I wanted to do like something fun you know something rebellious something crazy that I wanted to do and I was scared if I didn't finish my goals, I would fall off track. So as a reward, after mm. I checked off my list, mm -hmm. I would do something, you know, for myself. For yourself. That's right. important. Now, I'm going to agree with you on that. I'm solely like that. Um, during our break, we just got off of hiatus. And I didn't know that my list was so long. And I looked at it and I was like, how am I even going to complete all of this? And then how do I make myself feel good about everything that I have to do when I'm supposed to be vacationing? So after I finished checking off the list, there's still a few things left, but you have to reward yourself. I'll take myself out to dinner or I'll go get a massage or something like that. Or I'll just do nothing and veg on the couch. And that's rare. To me, that's a reward to just do nothing. Yep. The next question is from da -da, Lisa. Lisa, hi, Sassandra. I struggle with anxiety and it often hinders my progress. Any tips for managing anxiety effectively? You, yes. First of all, I'm so sorry you go through anxiety, but so many people do go through anxiety. And even with me sitting here, as much as people see me sitting on uh, this couch and talking or even singing on stage, you would think, oh my gosh, she's so comfortable. She's so confident. And I still go through anxiety, but I've learned that there's different types of anxiety and there's that you just need to channel that anxiety into what you need to make it become for you in that moment. First of all, she just mentioned anxiety. She did not mention the type of anxiety, whether it was situational or whether it is something with a chemical imbalance in her brain. So mm -hmm. those are two different ways to approach it. If it's situational, there's different techniques. If it's a chemical imbalance in the brain, it's different techniques. Mm -hmm. When people call me all anxious, I have friends who call me anxious and upset sometimes, um, I tell them, first of all, take a deep breath mm -hmm. and anything negative that you're thinking of, stop victimizing yourself for a second yes. and say, thank God. Yes. Because what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yes. Grow from what you go through. Take this as a learning experience. Life isn't perfect. Life is a journey. True. Go ahead and just do it. Like, you mess up, you mess up. Okay, it's life. Like, n a bunch of people are probably watching this right now, too, and it's like, okay, um, I kept getting the question, like, are you anxious getting on the set? Are you anxious? Honestly, I wasn't because I was like, I just have to go on and do my thing, and that's what's going to happen. And this is, it's reality. It's not going to change. Whatever is happening right now is not going to change. You know, I'm going on this show. It's not going to change. <laughs> that part, you know, exactly. Like, it's honestly, you need to take a deep breath, and if you can't get out of bed in the morning because you're anxious about doing something, mm -hmm. Man, look at yourself in the mirror. Like, I have mirrors all over my bedroom, all over my whole house from ceiling to floor. Really? Yes, all over. It's a box of mirrors for this reason. Look at yourself in the mirror and be like, yes, I could do it. Take a deep breath. It's nothing but my mind that's just messing with me right now. Mm. Get up. Go hit the gym. Go eat something healthy because you're, like, your self-care is something that yes. can also mess with your anxiety. Yes. Um, and mental health levels. 
go get up, go to the gym, go eat healthy, go do something productive, take care of yourself, think, journal. Like, you gotta have self-control. I'm glad you said that, though. I'm so glad that you said go to the gym because anxiety is really controlled um, in a great way by exercise, yes. right? Just by letting out those endorphins, all of those chemicals in your, bodies, in your body that when you exercise, it makes you feel good. I did add working out to my list during vacation. And I feel better, y'all. Even if it's for 10 minutes a day. Yes. Pat yourself on the back that you actually got up. Yes. Did something. Amen. I love that. And from that 10 minutes, it might turn into 11 minutes, 12 minutes with an extra 60 seconds, 90 seconds. You yes. know, and slowly it's going to progress. Increments. Just like, yes. Just like bad habits progress. Just no good habits progress. But good habits usually, honestly, I've seen progress faster because you're motivating yourself to do something. You, you are know? such a wise woman, a wise young woman. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing all of this with me. What do, what's going on next for you? Um, well, I recently just moved to Irving, Texas from Chicago. Ooh. Um, I'm the, in the process of trying to finish school. Wonderful. Um, what are you majoring in? Business, actually. Love it. Um, so I'm trying to finish that, go ahead and buy some properties out in Dallas or Irving. Definitely in the Texas area. So you're into well, real so. estate? Um, trying to learn, trying to find different passive sources of income. That's awesome. Um, so I don't have to work a nine to five. I know that's right. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Working nine to five. Listen, we're going to take go to commercial. We'll be right back. Don't y'all go nowhere because we're going to be vibing on pizza. Let's get started. Yes. Hello. Everyone, if you are at work, at home, y'all drop everything and tune in because it's time for the Sisonda <laughs> Show! Yeah! <laughs> Listen, I'm just kidding. Don't y'all get fired. Don't drop everything at work. Listen, speaking of fired, y'all...